So there are a few cars that are as iconic as the Mustang. This is the American pony car. And today we're talking about two really fantastic examples. We got old and new with us. So this is the 2019 Bullet Edition Mustang. And if you don't know what that means, you've probably been living under a rock your whole life. In 1968, the movie Bullet came out starring Steve McQueen. And if you haven't seen it, it has probably one of the most epic car chase scenes ever in cinematic history. He takes in 1967 Mustang Fastback and chases a Dodge Charger through downtown San Francisco, which ends in a fiery explosion where the bad guys lose, obviously. Now, it's really interesting because when Ford supplied the car for the movie, they actually didn't want to have to pay for the advertising, so they debadged the car entirely. And that is actually what has given the car its fame, is the fact that it's very inconspicuous. It doesn't have any Ford badging on it. And, you know, other than obviously the iconic design, nothing would tell you that it's a Ford. Now, of course, everybody knows what it is. And it's gained notoriety as being one of the greatest movie cars ever. Now, Ford has released several different tribute cars to the Bullet movie car. They did it first in 2001, and then they had another version in 2008 and 2009. And most recently in 2019, they've brought the bullet back. So before we talk about the new one, let's talk about this one. So this is a 1967 K-Code Fastback. Now, if you wanna talk about ultra rare Mustangs, this is it, you, just, you don't see these in real life. Um, this, is a, this is a four speed, and there was right around 200 of these made in 67. So that'll give you an idea of just how rare it is. Uh, this one is in the original moss green, which is an even more rare color in that era. And being that this is the K-Code, it has that special K-Code performance package. It has the high performance 289 in it, uh, as well as the performance suspension. So this thing is pretty epic and it sounds amazing. And we're gonna get to that here in a second. Now, obviously it's not an actual bullet car because there was only one left and it was eventually found in Jersey. Um, but it does, it, it looks a lot like it. It's very similar. It's got the, you know, the, the similar torque thrust styled wheels. Um, you know, it still has the normal grill, but it just has that look. And so that's why we wanted to have these two cars together today. All right, so let's talk about the 2019 Bullet now. So what makes it special? And is it really worth the extra price? That's the big question here. Um, you know, whenever you buy a car, it's gotta have an emotional connection you know it's got to be something that that moves you that makes you feel special whenever you're driving it and you know also it's got to have the performance to back that up so those are the two big questions that we got to ask with this car because being that it's a bullet edition the whole point is that it's supposed to be you know this connection to this old movie car and it's supposed to have you know th that that performance and just that iconic Mustangness, if that's a word, <laughs> that you have in the older ones. So, does this stand up to that test? So let's start off with just the specs on paper. The Bullet has the same intake manifold as the Shelby GT350. It also has the same throttle body and the cold air intake that that has. That gets at about a 20 horsepower gain, bringing it up to about 480 horsepower. Now where some of the biggest changes are made to this car are with its visual appearance. 
Just like the car in the movie, it's been completely debadged. On the front grille, they removed the pony emblem. Um, there's no Ford emblems on it whatsoever. And the GT emblem is gone. And then on the back, it's replaced just with the bullet emblem on the deck lid. This gives it just that, that iconic look that the bullet car is known for. And I think, you know, I, I really like it. I think that it just, it's, it's discreet. You see a lot of cars that manufacturers do that they seem kind of over the top. It's a little too flashy, but this one, it's just got subtle, this tasteful modifications and changes that are made to it that really make it stand out. You know, it's like you, you see it and you know that there's something different. It doesn't look like the other Mustangs that you see. And, you know, maybe somebody who doesn't have any clue what the bullet car is, they're not gonna really know exactly what it is, but they know it's different, you know? But it's not just so over the top that people might think it's gaudy. I think, you know, it's, it's one of those things where it's, it's still, it's approachable, it's still a car that appeals to just about anybody who likes cars, you know? Even if, even if you don't, you know, a, a, ascribe to the whole bullet car and you're not, you know, the big Steve McQueen fan, I think this is still a car that anybody can just fall in love with. Just adding the, the little touches like the chrome trim around the grill and around the windows just help it stand out. It's got the torque thrust styled wheels, a lot like we're on the car, but they're updated. They're not, you know, they didn't just slap a pair of torque thrust wheels on it like they've done in previous generations. They actually have an entirely new wheel that that has that nod to it but it also has somewhat of a modern styling to it that really works with the car um, it does have a staggered size it's got the 255s in the front and then 275s in the back so you do have that additional tire back there because um, this thing is making almost 500 horsepower all right and then whenever we come around to the back of the car we can see the only badging on it is the bullet emblem here and this is the only thing that gives it away that this is the special edition bullet also unique to the bullet mustang is the exhaust that it has it has what ford calls the black nitro plate tips which are a blacked out uh, exhaust tip that are supposed to be resistant to heat and all that and it also has their uh their valved exhaust system which has four different modes which we're gonna go through once we fire this thing up and we're gonna check it out. They have um, a normal mode, a quiet mode, and then of course, you know, track mode, which is what we're all gonna keep it in 99% of the time anyway. So, you know, who really cares about the other modes? Um, <laughs> now, once you get inside, that bullet vibe continues. The first thing that you notice is the logo on the steering wheel. From there, all of the touches that have been done to the interior of this are unique to the bullet. There's the brushed aluminum on the dash. You have the green accent stitching on the door panel as well as on the seats. Um, this particular one is optioned with the Recaro sport seats and even the Recaro emblem is in that same green stitching. You know, you can definitely tell that there's something unique and special about this car. Um, lastly, and probably one of the coolest features is the shift knob. It's that old, you know, Hearst style white billiard ball looking shift knob. Um, that it just has that that old school feel to it and you see the bullet emblem in two other places it's got it on the kick plates as well as there's the badge on the dash that has the special edition numbering of the vehicle um, that's you know to me that's actually one of the cool features of this car is the fact that it is it's a limited edition um, and you know Mustangs have this this ability to even though there's relatively high production numbers um, overall they, they still have relatively high value as far as cars go. Um, you know, like you can get a 2014 Shelby that have actually increased in value over what they were worth initially. Um, now, obviously, you know, I'm not saying that that's going to happen with this. Um, cars can always be an interesting thing when it comes to looking at them in an investment, obviously. But, you know, it doesn't hurt to get one that is a special edition because there's a good chance that, you know, it could can end up holding its value or have better resale value in the future. Um, you know, plus it's, it's just cool. It's, this car is, it's a lot of fun. It's really cool. Uh, it's great to look at. And, you know, I think uh, just, just looking at it in the initial overview, I really think Ford knocked it out of the park with this one. You know, it's, it's, it's a great nod back to the original, to the bullet car. Uh, it's got the performance to back it up, and, and honestly, I think it's got the styling to really help it stand out, but not be too over the top.
So now that we've talked about all the features of the bullet, let's go take it out for a drive. It is very well equipped and it's very similar to the GT with the performance package. It has the digital gauge cluster, which is really cool. I'm a big fan of that. Um, this particular one is equipped with the Magna Ride suspension, which is really pretty great. I, uh, I don't have that on my EcoBoost and there's definitely a noticeable difference, um, especially whenever you, you, you can actually kind of, you know, and it may just be in my mind, but <laughs> you can feel it engage whenever you um, switch between the modes and it actually you know it, it, you can literally feel it kind of stiffen up and almost like it's getting up on its haunches um, and it, it definitely seems to make a difference so we're gonna we're actually gonna right now I'm gonna switch it into uh, the sport plus mode and we're gonna turn on the exhaust to track which is the loudest mode. It has four different exhaust modes. It has quiet, which nobody's gonna ever turn on, normal, sport, and then track. And, you know, I think it sounds just absolutely phenomenal in track. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna run through some gears here. absolutely amazing even from the inside um, I got to listen to them you know kind of driving by and stuff and it's just a phenomenal sounding motor and you know the great thing is you can you can you know hear it well in the inside so you have that experience but it's not you know it's not overly you know droning or just obnoxiously loud um, I'm cruising along at about 60 miles an hour and you know you can I can have a normal conversation uh, it's really not not too loud. It just sounds great. So um, I'm a big fan of that exhaust. You know the fact that you can go from track down to quiet, and now there's virtually nothing. So we're gonna put it back into back into sport at least, so we can still hear something. Now, of course, the ultimate question with this car is: Does it really live up to the Bullet moniker? And I gotta say, that, yeah, I think it does. Um, it, it, whenever you're driving it, there's just something about it. It makes you feel special. It makes you feel like you have something that's more than just a GT Mustang or more than just a regular Mustang. Um, you know, just the, the little differences here and there, um, the visual differences of it, uh, just everything kind of coming together to create this vehicle that's, you know, it's just a little bit better than the GT uh, with the performance package. And it's actually, whenever you spec it out um, with the Magna Ride, it ends up being pretty much, pretty close to the same price. So I gotta say, today was a pretty amazing day, being able to drive this 2019 Ford Mustang Bullet and having it alongside the 1967 K-Code Fastback. Um, huge thank you to the guys over at MyRod. Um, you can check them out at MyRod.com. And they have a pretty awesome selection of very um, bespoke and unique vehicles. They got some really rare stuff. And definitely go check them out. They're going to be linked below as well as their YouTube. They have some phenomenal content and videos on there. So you got to check them out. Um, and again, thank you to Prestige Ford in Garland where I got the vehicle from. Um, we borrowed from, I didn't buy it. So to wrap this up, I gotta say, um, after spending pretty much the whole day with this car, driving it, uh, being able to experience it alongside the original car that um, inspired the Bullet movie and the car in that movie, the Fastback Mustang, I gotta say that, you know, this, it's, it's obviously just far more technologically advanced. It has uh, a lot more power. It is, you know, <laughs> leaps and bounds. It's, it's, you know, you can't even compare the two, but it still holds that soul from 
from the original Mustang and it still brings out that feeling in you, just that joy of driving between the, the sound, the, the feel, the steering wheel in your hand, um, everything about it, it just it just brings back just kind of that excitement of, of you know like seeing that car for the first time as a kid and just just the excitement of that. Um, so I gotta say I really think that Ford uh, hit the nail on the head with this one um, and this is this is a really epic car. So I'm definitely 